Good evening, everyone. The next person um, I give great pleasure in talking about, for he happens to be my pastor. The young man that's going to get this word is a great servant in the community. He's a great person individually. He likes to have fun. But most of all, he's a God-fearing man. Most of you have heard of him in the community. He's still one of the leaders in our community. I present to you Pastor G. Reverend John E. Gurdon Jr. is senior servant of the historic Christ Missionary Baptist Church and former executive director of the Indiana Healthy Marriage and Family Coalition, Inc. In I want to thank uh, them, the organizers, for, uh, for this. I think anybody that knows me knows that this, I mean, I have, to, I have to appreciate this, but we certainly don't do the work that we do uh, for the accolades or for the recognition. Uh, we do it um, for the people. And so uh, as we head out of 2017, um, I think as some of it has already been said, I just want to encourage people uh, as you think about the big things you want to do, one of the things I've learned is start small, think big. And that's what I plan to do next year. Pace myself. You're going to continue to see us in the streets. I don't know that I'll be sleeping in a tent next year. I don't think I'll be doing that. But if God says do it, guess what? I'll see y'all in the streets. Peace. Sherry Sims. The Oklahoma City native, currently completing her degree at Xavier University in organizational leadership, has more than 14 years experience in human resources with special expertise in talent acquisition. While working for such corporations as CVS Pharmacy, AT&T, and AOL Time Warner, Sims saw the lack of support and mentorship for professional black women. It motivated her to create the Black Career Women's Network as an online forum in 2008. BCWN is now a national organization with online communities and exclusive mentors lists, virtual career resources, and multiple events designed to further support black women's professional development. Hello, everyone. All the way from Cincinnati, Ohio, born and raised in the OKC, go Thunder! <laughs> when I got the call, received the call that um, I was going to be honored, it was maybe a couple of weeks after I had just um, wrapped up my uh, second annual conference in Cincinnati. And when she told me it was the Woman of Worth Award, I thought, yes because that's my goal, to help black women feel valued in the workplace, to help them know their worth in the workplace, to know that they can be leaders in the C-suite and they can run the damn thing. Part of my goal is to continue to expand this organization globally. And the fact that I haven't even touched Indianapolis yet, and this community has honored me, I have got to come to Indy more often <laughs> and make this our second home. There was a quote that I heard in 2008 when I initially um, got the idea to start a LinkedIn group which eventually turned into an organization in 2012. And it was called The Life God Gave You. 
is larger than the life he'd been living. And when I heard that in 2008, I was at a place in my life where I had been overlooked for a promotion and I didn't feel worth and I didn't feel value in the, in the workplace. And I knew at that point there was something bigger for me out there. Little did I know <laughs> that God already was designing my path for me. And when I landed in Cincinnati, two years later, and then two years from that time, I birthed BCWN. And I knew this was his plan and not mine. So I give him the glory for giving me the vision and the courage to come out of my shell. Because it wasn't easy to stand up here and say this two years ago. It wouldn't have happened. But I say that to tell black women this. We all have a purpose. We have a journey. Do not go to work seeking validation because when he gave you that job, that was validation you belong there. Hello everyone, my name is Larry Williams. I am the founder and the president of the Indianapolis uh, Chamber of Commerce, the Black Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Good evening, my name is Brittany Lewis and I'm the current Miss Black America. And today we are um, presenting Mr. Ira Files, if he could come on up. Foles, Mr. Ira Foles, who's also uh, president of the, uh, Kansas City Black, City, uh, Black Chamber of Commerce. Ira Fouts, Black Chambers, Bridge Builders Award. Ira James Fouts has combined labor activism and community service for decades throughout the state. Wow, you know, uh, I listened to the, to the Reverend who spoke before you know, you never give thought to what you do and who watch what you do, what you do. And so, uh, Ms. Daniels, I want to thank her and the organization when she called me and asked me to be involved, and then asked me to be involved more. <laughs> then she's on my radio show. I think I have a syndicated radio show also. Every, every uh, first, every, every Saturday from one to three on Ferguson, USA, hottalkradio.com, you can be heard. So again, to the people who listen to us, people who are in, in Indianapolis here, I want to thank you for letting me be a part of your family. I just want to thank you for letting me be a part of what you're doing, and being a part of what you're doing to help your young people see the future and be a part of their future. Thank you very much. Have you seen your outfit dancing? You guys, please give a round of applause to the fashion icon award winner, Miss Alpha Blackburn. <laughs> Thank you so very much for your warm welcome. Um, it helps that they allowed me to show some of my work. I think that that way I don't have to say so much. <laughs> I want to uh, say that when I walked in tonight, I was a little bit reminiscent. Um, the velvet on the seats I selected. The interiors have been changed a bit. Um, the, wall cover, the wall color is a little different, but I got to the boardroom upstairs and the chandelier is one that I designed. So my touch is on this place in so many ways that I felt very much at home. I want to thank...